Howdy folks! Today I'm coming on to show you how to make some really cool gift card holders for Christmas. We have these brand new dies in two different sizes. They come together uh, to make little notches to slip a gift card in. So you can cut it this way on your paper or cut it that way on your paper for a horizontal or vertical gift card. I have been on a shaker card kick, so I have revisited the shaker card idea with glitter paper and some brand new snowflake sequins in there and holographic paper. Isn't that pretty? So when you open this up, you have the liner on the inside with these little notch tabs that I die cut that hold your gift card. And this one, I love this style fold. On this card I've used this idea a lot this opens up here and that pulls out to reveal your gift card there and we use those little notch notches there alrighty let's get started let's work on the shaker card first this is going to be a 4x4 four four card I have my scoreboard off to the side here so you can simply fold that in half or if you want to be precise, give it a little score at four inches. And you can make this to be a top fold or a side fold. Give it a smash with that bone folder. And some stamping I have done already. Let me get my pieces out here. The holographic paper, I did emboss this with a snowflake embossing folder that we had last year. Ooh, look at that glowing underneath. Isn't that cool? <laughs> if you can see that texture in there, really pretty. So I went ahead and embossed that, but we need to cut out the tree shape. So let me show you this. This came from the card kit in the last issue, the Holly and Ivy card making kit, where you had these stamps with these messages, and then the ornament the bow and the tree. So I'm going to take that tree die and lay that right smack in the middle. So I'm just going to come over here to my cuddle bug and crank this through. So some things I like to do ahead of time just to save a little bit of time here on the video. We cut out that tree and then you have this beautiful piece left over that you can attach to a different card or punch a hole in the top and use it as a gift tag. All right, next let us use the die. For the paper here, I'm using the longer one and I'm going to put that towards like the top third of the card because on our sample here, you can see I have a message of Merry Christmas at the bottom. So I don't want these notches right in the middle. I want them up at the top. So let me run this through. Alrighty, and there we have our little notches. So be be careful with this because it makes the edges a little fragile. If you're if you're a little too aggressive, it can just rip uh, right at those edges there. So just be a little careful with that. All right, so some assembly required. Let's construct our shaker card. Uh, the first thing that I like to do is take my stencil film. Get the little dog hair and dust and fuzzies off. And then glue that onto the back side here. We're making our cover piece. The holographic piece is four by four, and I cut the stencil film three and a quarter by three and a quarter. It, it doesn't have to go edge to edge. You just need to cover that tree shape. A 
Next, I'm going to glue the glitter cardstock base onto the card front. And this is also a quarter inch smaller. It did not need to go all the way to the edges. that down. You want to build your shaker from the bottom up. And what I mean by that is you want to add your foam tape so you're kind of making a tray to add your sequins and beads and whatever doodads you want in your shaker. So build that from the ground up. And a little, a little hint that I like to do is you can place this you know, that's going to be right, put that tree right in the middle, lay that over top, and yeah, that's about where it's going to be. So, this is where your tree shape is going to be. Bumped it. Let me come back here. Yep. So, you want to box it in by putting foam tape all around the edges. And I want that foam tape right underneath that tree. I don't want my shaker elements to fall all the way to the bottom. So box it in. No gaps there. You don't want your shaker filler stuff falling out. So that's why you need to box it in. No gaps. And next, just because the shaker window is that tree shape, I'm going to add a little bit of foam tape on the sides here just to kind of box it in a little bit more. Now some people in my stamp club, they, they put foam tape directly around the tree. And that really boxes it in nice and tight. But uh, you just have to be careful that your foam tape isn't going to be showing through your window. So you might want to check back periodically if you're gonna if you're gonna box it in right around the shape. Make sure it's not the foam tape isn't showing through the plastic window. So that's the gist there. I got foam tape. Kind of boxing that tree in. Let me get that out of there. Lay that over top. I don't see any foam tape poking out from behind there. So, good deal. All right, let's fill it up. These are gorgeous. I love these snowflake blue sequins. They're holographic. So darn pretty. So darn pretty. And Bluebell, this was our color of the year last year. I'm going to add just a little bit of that in because it really pulls in that blue in the snowflake and the blue in the holographic paper. And if you haven't seen this tool yet, this is our, I call it the pickup stick. It has a waxy tip that you, you want to put that through a pencil sharpener because it comes flat and you can use both ends. And it's, it's a little waxy tip that picks up your sequins and little doodads. So if I have a couple here on my, on my work surface, you just simply touch it. Just touch it to it, and then you can just place it where you need to. If you have some in here that are in the wrong space, you want to move it around, our little pickup tool, you can place it anywhere you want. Love this thing. And I don't have any fingernails doing massage therapy. I can't have fingernails, so it's it's hard to pick up. And sometimes you want to lick your finger and then try to pick things up. No more! Little pickup tool. This thing is wonderful. Okay, so I have my elements in here, and we're going to carefully peel the backing off of the foam tape. And I'm trying to hold down the card as I do that because sometimes the little shaker elements tend to jump as you're peeling this off. 
So I'm just trying to hold it down with my other fingers as I peel off this tape. Almost. Alrighty. So that is all nice and sticky. And I'm going to stand up because I want to get a bird's eye view here. And stick it. There you go. Pretty easy. So add your background, add your foam tape, box it in, add your elements and then your window on top. And there is your beautiful little shaker card. So on the inside, we're gonna glue the piece for the gift card. Just don't put any glue over the notch pieces, of course. Don't put any glue right over there. You want those to lift out to hold your gift card. In this piece, I cut three by seven eighths by three by seven eighths. So you have that white border all around the edge, which I think is really nice. Merry Christmas. I stamped from that matching stamp set. I'm going to dovetail both ends here. Cut a slit in the middle and then go corner to center and then corner to center. And that will give you a nice uniform dovetail every time. Little foam tape to pop that up on the inside. And then on the top, I have Peace and Joy. I'm gonna dovetail just one edge of Peace and Joy. Tape two. Right over to the top, right to the edge there. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty. And these little tiny, I left a couple little snowflake sequins here. I'm gonna add a teeny little dot of glue on this piece and joy. Come back to that little pickup tool and I'm gonna just lift up one of those snowflakes and touch it to that glue spot. Pick it up, touch it to the glue spot and you can add individual sequins anywhere you want to. So on my sample here I added some organza ribbon. I just tied it in a knot that just kind of finishes it off there. And there is card number one. Clean up my mess here. Card number two, this awesome fold. I just love this. Love how this folds. This is going to be really easy. The base is four and a quarter by 11. So it's a half sheet of eight and a half by 11. So you can get two of these out of one sheet of cardstock, four and a quarter by 11. We're going to score at two and three quarters and five and a half. Two and three quarters and five and a half. Actually, let me set this back out and come to our wisteria piece. This is wisteria cardstock. I'm using the lighter side. This is three by eight. You're going to fold it in half or score at four inches. Light side out. Smash it with the bone folder. All right, and then the card base, you're going to fold that in half on that five and a half inch mark. And then it's going to get folded back on that two and three quarter mark. And if you measured that correctly, hopefully it is nice and even. Steven. All right, let's decorate this. This is so pretty. It's going to come together very easily. I did some prep work with this one. White cardstock. I ran through that beautiful snowflake embossing folder. Gorgeous. 
that is going to get adhered to the base. Right there, and that is cut a quarter inch smaller. The, the pretty pattern paper I'm using is from Wonderland. And with the, the houses, the ice skaters, the trees, I thought this was just so pretty with the snowflake scene. That one's gonna go on the front. And this Nordic print in the middle panel. that all right and then the wisteria piece you want to you think it's going to open like a book this way you're going to turn it around so when your card is closed here we want this wisteria piece that's going to open to the right side from left to right so open up your card and we're going to glue this whole base onto the bottom just center it right in the middle. So that will open from left to right. Close that up and there's your front. All right, decorating here. For the gift card, I have a white piece that I, I already cut those little notches out. Let's glue that down. Be right here some snowflakes I had already stamped this was from a really pretty snowflake set that we had last year and there's some messages in here lots of dyes to match but any kind of snowflakes that you have really pretty we had some holiday borders last year so I'm Pulling out some of this, you know, use your stash, right? You don't have to constantly buy new, new, new all the time, although that's a whole lot of fun. But all the stuff that you bought before, are you using it? So pull that out. This little border with the houses on, I thought was a perfect match for our, our card here with the Wonderland paper. And I already cut that out of some white. And we're going to glue this on. You can decide. It doesn't all fit on this. So do you, which side do you want? Maybe you want the smaller houses, the bigger house. And then just trim it. Just trim it to fit. So let's see. I want the smaller houses. I'm just going to go right to the edge there and give that a snip. And we're not going to use that. So a little bit more stamping. Let's come back to my sample here. I'll show you. On the front here, I have some little snowflakes from that stamp set and Glacier Blue and Wisteria. The Wisteria, we're gonna fade that. You're gonna stamp it off on scrap paper and then stamp it onto the cardstock. And then on the inside here are Warm Winter Wishes. So here are my inks. Warm winter wishes. And adding a few snowflakes in the glacier blue. Remember, we're going to stamp this off and fade it. Stamp it off on some scrap paper. So you have a lighter image. If you make a mistake and you stamp it out and it's darker, you can cover that with a ribbon, a button, your message. You can always hide it. Okay, let's glue this down. Whoop, come 
back here. Just a, a little touch over these thin, delicate areas. And that's going to get glued right to the bottom here. This is so pretty. All right, this one is going on to the front. here. So pretty. And warm winter wishes. This is going to go on the inside. Give yourself some space to sign your card. Beautiful. And just for some decoration, these snowflakes, I took this big one in Wisteria, and that is going to go right over here. And one of these little guys, we're going to add right in the middle. And on my sample, I added a little bit of Stickles glitter gel just to kind of shine that up a little bit. And then on the front, this one, I have some Stickles glitter gel on there as well. So lastly, we can come to our message, tis the season. Stamp that on a little scrap, dovetail the end. Again, cut the center and then corner to center, corner to center. And this is not on foam tape. I'm just going to glue that right down. Just off to the side. And then another snowflake. Uh, let's see. Where did my film tape go? I'm throwing stuff everywhere. All right, I'll use this. I have him ready to go. There it is. Alrighty guys, so here is your pretty fold. Open up, fold it out, and your gift card right in the middle there. Great way to give a gift this Christmas. And your shaker card. Love these interactive elements there. So thanks for watching guys. Any questions, just give a comment. Thanks, bye.